Hi, my name is Matt, and this is my dog Kona. He's a standard poodle, and he is about to get his hair cut. He does not particularly like that, um, but I've been up for years. Um, he's a little over six years old now, and I uh, just got a fresh bath, so it's always wise to uh, bathe before grooming um, because it will dull your blades very quickly if you don't. Um, so I'm going to show you how I groom him. Um, he is a standard poodle, but I don't groom him like a normal poodle. Um, I just keep his hair short and he looks like a pretty normal dog except he's got curly hair. Um, a lot of people uh, confuse him as a Labradoodle or even a Weimaraner actually when they get his hair really short you'll see. Um, he kind of turns a little grayish. Um, but yeah, so I use the Andis AGC uh, two-speed clippers, and they work super well. Um, I've been using these for, I don't know, three or four years, I think. Um, I had a wall brand that I used. Um, the, the blades just got super dull very quickly. Um, I've not had to replace these blades, so I do oil them. Um, and clean them and uh, they've, they've worked really well for me. So I always start with the face um, because that's the part he doesn't really like and so I just get that done and over with. Um, and then I move to his paws because they take forever and um, going between the toes it's just time consuming and then I finish off with his body. So the body goes super fast he just kind of is just chilling there by that time. So here we go. Um, I'll just kind of give you guys tips and tricks as I go along. And um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you uh, comment down below and uh, I'll be sure to answer those. So here we go. So one thing he does, he does like show his teeth a little bit. I don't know if that's reflexive. He has never bit me or growled. Um, I don't know, but yeah, he just kind of does that. Uh, I forgot to mention, I put him up on top of this little um, pedestal so I don't have to bend over and plus he can't go anywhere. So that is like the number one tip and trick to begin with. Do not try to do this on the floor. Um, they will squirm, they will run, they will roll over. They'll do all kinds of things, so put them up on a little pedestal. So I'll run his face, I uh, use speed one. It keeps the blade a little cooler because um, it can get pretty hot. So after each section, I will clean out the blade um, and then add some more oil. And I just do that by taking a little brush through here, get out the hair. back up. So the ears, um, you want to cut down the ear um, and like up the ear on the undersurface and down the ear on the outer surface. If you go um, downward like this, 
this you can catch like a corner or a little you know cluster of hair here and actually cut the ear so you got to be really careful around the floppy ears and then I just lay my hand uh, his ear on my hand and just cut right along his, his ear it's very safe to do this And then on the edge of the ears, you can kind of turn your blade perpendicular to the edge as long as you're going down the ear, um, kind of with the grain, so to speak. And on the underside of the ear, it's the same thing, cutting with the hair, not against the hair. So his face is pretty much down. I gotta do his head. I'll do his head uh, toward the end. Um, but I typically do his more sensitive areas first. So the next part is actually going to be his hind end. So this part is kind of gross, um, but it needs to be done. Otherwise, he gets dingleberries. So um, you cut down the tail and then up the tail, kind of like the ears. Um, and it's not as it's not as uh, dangerous or, or sensitive as his ears, um, but it still should be careful. So down the tail on the top. And then we're gonna go up the tail from the bottom. So the next part is going to be um, around his anal area, and then he is not neutered, um, and so I gotta trim around uh, scrotum, um, and just again be careful so you don't cut or razor burn. <laughs> So that's the technique I use. Um, I just kind of put his leg on my neck. It doesn't feel good on your back, so you can't do it for very long. I don't know of a better way, so um, if you do, feel free to comment down below. Um, and I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. So I'm going to get the other side. I mean, I don't know if you could see it, probably not, but there's like a little crease of skin um, like right in front of his penis that you have to spread the skin apart to, to cut down in there. Um, otherwise, you'll just get a big pocket of hair um, that it, just, it will never cut. So um, I will finish up kind of the bottom a uh, little bit later when I do his back legs. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to doing his paws now. So for the paws, um, what's difficult is just cutting between the toes. Um, and then the pads down below is, is just difficult to get the, uh, the clippers in. So takes a long time. I, I hate doing it, but it needs to be done. Um, otherwise, you know, it'll get all matted and gross and, and uh, just, you know, poodle hair never stops growing, so it's got to be trimmed. So I normally go on the top um, first. So 
cutting cutting hit the bottom of his feet, I find that if you cross it onto the opposite side of the body, um, you can get access to it better. His limb just um, naturally moves better that way. And so that's why I've got it over here. Sorry if you can't really see. But when I do the other one, you should be able to see. And then there's like this little crease um, back here on this front leg that you got to spread the fur apart or spread the skin and uh, to get down and cut in that little crevice down here. All right, so I'm just done. Um, so again, I clean out the blade and I will re-oil and we've got three more poles to go. So this is where I do that kind of trick and bring his leg over to the opposite side and uh, you can get to the bottom of the paw much, much easier that way, in my opinion. So here's the other side and you're not going to be able to see it, um, but you just spread, here I'll show you here. Here's that little crevice I was talking about. So it's on the outside of the leg. You just spread the skin like that and you can uh, trim up that crevice very easily. And there it is, um, all trimmed up. All right, back paws are pretty much the same. Um, they're a little bit easier because you can just swing up the, his paw, his leg backward and uh, clean, cut the bottom of his paw really easily. The uh, top part, it'll, it's not too bad. Um, so here we go. Since I'm right-handed, um, sometimes I'll pull his leg through to the other side. To get the uh, inside of his leg. basically legs and body so I kind of combine that all into one one big job so for this I will use uh, the second speed and just kind of whiz through this um, goes pretty quickly uh, there's really no nooks and crannies uh, left from here the underside of his legs will take a little bit, and then around his armpits will take a little bit, but this part is usually pretty quick. So one thing I do find is if you kind of hold his fur or skin, um, it won't it won't like get caught up into the, the wrinkles of his skin. So kind of keep the skin tight, and it'll uh, glide over it pretty quickly, pretty easily.
So that is how I groom my poodle. Um, you do not have to make your poodle look ridiculous and have those foo-foos on their head or their tail or their feet. Um, you can just straight buzz cut them. Um, I use the same blade the entire time. It's a one and a half millimeter uh, number 10 ultra edge um, that came with the uh, with the clippers. So I used to um, use a taller blade for his body just to have longer hair and a little bit of a contrast, but I find that I just like him with super short hair. Um, he's softer, he stays cleaner. Um, during the winter time, he doesn't get little snowballs on his, on his feet and stuff. So yeah, I like him with short hair. So the very last step is the grossest step. Um, so poodles grow hair everywhere, including their ears. And so you actually have to take tweezers and pluck the hair out of their ears. Um, if you do not do that, they will get chronic ear infections and just really gross nastiness in there. So every time I cut his hair, um, I do this. And so I cut his hair every two to three months. Um, this is probably a month and a half um, uh, cut. But yeah, between two, two and three months, um, I usually cut his hair and then do this with his ears. Um, every time I bathe him, um, I put some, an ear cleaner in, in his ears as well. And um, that kind of loosens up the hair a little bit and kind of gets the junk toward the top a little bit. <clears throat> But yeah, I just pull out this ear hair and um, set it aside. So like that is all coming out of his ear. I like it's pretty gross stuff. And I pretty much do keep doing it until not much comes out anymore. Like there's a more. On this side, he has this little bitty, like, I don't know, thing of skin that grows hair too. And I gotta cut that off with scissors usually. Alright, last one, buddy. In one ear, this ear is usually worse than the other. I don't know why, it just it grows a lot more hair. And I'm just using um, tweezers for this. So there's like the first bunch. Okay. So that's it. That is how I groom my dog, Kona, standard poodle. Um, if you guys have any questions or feedback, um, please comment uh, down below and uh, subscribe for other videos. Um, yeah, so I keep, I'll keep updating my channel. All right, you guys have a good night.